tell us about transfers? Yes, the transfers are the fats that are formed from the hydrogenation of vegetable oils and they can be found from the hydrogenated vegetable oils, the vegetable shortening and also the margarine. Okay, and how do they affect our health? Uh, actually, there are some scientific research on that and it is found that the transfers would lead to an increase in the LDL which is a bad cholesterol and to destroy the HDL which are the good cholesterol at the same time and the LDL is actually uh, would, would be the leading factor to the heart disease and the HDL would be the cholesterol that protects your human heart so the transfer would uh, also lead to a double in the ratio of the LDL to the HDL and so if people take in an excessive transfer they would have a high chance in suffering the coronary heart disease and also some serious illness like the diabetes uh, lead to an obesity and also uh, maybe the intestinal cancer Okay, then which one is more harmful to our health, the trans fat or the animal fats? Uh, because the effect of trans fat will be to damage the cholesterol, so uh, the effect of trans fat will be more harmful and more severe. And also according to the Danish research, the people uh, who take in more trans fat would have 2 to 10 times high chance in suffering the coronal heart disease than uh, normal people and also uh, there is also a recent research that uh, is found that the mother would, who have uh, who stored the transfer in her body would cause some harmful to her baby too oh then what makes hydrogenated vegetable oils and margarine becomes popular in Hong Kong yes and actually in the past the people used transfers in their cocaine but uh, nowadays people will be more awareness of their health and they find that uh, uh, animal oils uh, actually contain the saturated fatty acids which are harmful to their body and so uh, they find vegetable oils may, may be better but uh, it is found that in the vegetable oils they contain the unsaturated fatty acid and this kind of acid would um, easily oxidize and when they are cooked in high temperature um, they would easily form the carcinogens and so the manufacturers um, would uh, try to hydrogenate the vegetable oils into semi soil state so as to uh, increase the stability and to uh, make it higher tolerance to the temperature and to um, make it not easily deteriorated um, but, but however it is found to be um, more harmful in the case. Oh, then can you tell us more about the existence of trans fats products in Hong Kong? Yes, uh, actually there are many products in Hong Kong that contain the trans fat, but they have no packages, um, such as the fried chickens and the chips in the fast food shops, and also uh, popcorns, the donuts, and bread, uh, or even the salad sauce. Uh, all of them contain the trans fats, but uh, many of them are without labels that uh, contain the food ingredients. Oh, then do you think that Hong Kong government should carry out some measures on the issue, like um, maybe promoting the idea of harmful of trans fat on Hong Kong people? Yes, indeed. Uh, the government should uh, work on raising people's awareness on the harmful of trans fats. And I think this kind of work can be done by like um, advertising and also public education and also the food labeling is also very important. What will you advise Hong Kong consumers on food choice? Uh, actually for the Hong Kong government, it has not yet introduced any controls on the transfers, so, um, but it is a must and I think that the customer should choose their food carefully. And when you look at the food labels, you can see that the products which uh, have the trans fats ingredients listed at the first shows that uh, the food contains more trans fats and vice versa. And so for the sake of health, I advise people should take in less trans fats as possible because less is more. Oh, thank you.